So how's it going for our VIP guest? There's still no progress. I feel bad for her. Yeah, it's really awful. But Vel spent the entire night with her. He must be really worried. You know, failure is a serious thing for a doctor. Where is he now? Um, he just left ten minutes ago. Okay. Well, I should probably go and check on her. here. Well, I heard you watched over her all night. What made you interested in her? I don't remember asking you to do that. I just wanted to check on her, that's all. What about the encephalogram? Mm, yeah, I took another test. And? She can't see, hear, or feel anything. Anyway, the ladies were complaining that you made a huge mess in your ward. So please be considerate. Don't worry about her. She's been taking care of the best hospital. She'll be fine. Which doctor did you pay? Is it Pavel? What kind of drug did he give to Violetta? What do you mean by the doctor I paid? Violetta is being treated at the hospital, and about the drug, I think you're the one who saw it. Oh, stop that nonsense. Have you forgotten? You pushed her. And why would I do that? My wife fell. If you're here to make some ridiculous accusation against me, then you better leave now. She just fell like that? No foul place? And then she crawled away from the house so she could get away from you? <laughs> Do you know what you're talking about? You crazy old man. That night, I was talking to her. I told her about your plan with the Chinese, and then later on, she was taken away by the ambulance. So what was I'm that? I'm gonna say this to you for one last time. She slipped. It was an accident. You understand? And you. You just stood behind the curtain. Violetta is my wife. And you just watched her die. You know nothing. I did everything I could to save her Are life. Are you sure about that? She's neither alive or dead. She's in a coma right now. What exactly is this? Is it really a coincidence or not? Yes, it seems so. Wait, stop it! The truth is he was with me on that day when Violetta fell. So you're wrong about him. Our family is in grief. We're really trying to cope with the situation. And you? You have completely lost your mind, Vladimir. Novomed no longer needs you, so you're fired. Do you think I'm just... Yes, you are. You're nothing. I want to forget everything about you, so don't you dare show your face to me again. I'm done with you. Could you please leave now? Remember, she's your wife. You crazy bastard. Why did you say that? What? Why did you make him believe I was with you when Violetta slipped and fell? You weren't even here. I just wanted to help you. Isn't that what families do?
<laughs> uh-huh. Okay, thanks. How are you, Dr. Andreev? Have you seen Anna? I can't find her. She's in the 56th ward. The whole council is there, all the department heads, as well as Evgeny. They're looking for you. Why? What happened? There was an athlete admitted with epilepsy. May I see his file? Okay, just a moment. Have you ever been diagnosed with epilepsy before? What? Oh, no. So you never had any signs? No, I never get sick. Okay, how about any sports injuries or head injuries in the past? Yes, I had, but not a head injury. I want to ask, how intense have you been training lately? Right now, I'm preparing for the national championship competition. So it must be intense. Well, yeah, you can say that. That means you'll do anything. Are you trying to accuse me of something? I'm not accusing you. Are you doping? Excuse me? You heard me. Excuse me, doctor. I don't use anything like that. I'm constantly being tested. You can ask my coach. I'm clean. Did you do an angiography on him? Not yet, but... Mm. We need to check his blood vessels. It seems he did blood doping. Anna, can I talk to you? Who was he? What are we going to do now? Maybe we should give it a shot. I've already heard that kind of doping. When I worked in the U.S., nothing special. Pavel, have you changed your mind and withdrawn your application? Let's not talk about that now. Actually, I have something to ask you about my patient. I have a strong feeling that there's someone who's giving sedatives into her. And they're doing it in secret. They're poisoning her? They probably want her to stay, unconscious, so she can't get out of here. Who would do this? You know, this is a serious accusation. Here are the samples. Can you check it for me? Getting used to your dad's office? It's my office now, and I think it suits me well. Someone sent me this, and it will be in the news today. Let's take a look. Strange as it may seem, I'm here, right now, in a factory where, as you can see, all the newest medical equipment is being made. Thankfully, with the help of government subsidies, the top hospitals across the country get the latest high-tech medical equipment from the one and only Novamed company. How did they even get this there? This is the result of all the hard work of our local factory. Bakovsky. At least that's how it looks on paper. In reality, though, as you can see, this high-tech production line is just an old warehouse where Chinese equipment is being put together with a screwdriver and some screws to make Novamed products. Take a look at these. Also, according to our sources, there are no new job openings or help for local suppliers. And that's what they're dealing with now. Take a look. All that's left is an old warehouse and evidence for a court case. Semyon Paknowski is here. Shall I let him in? Yes. What are you planning to do now? Just get out of here. What if I talk to him? I said get out of here, just leave. <laughs> Hello, Samyun. Oh. Have you already watched it? What do you think? It's not a Hollywood movie, but it's not that bad. We'll just add some background music. Tonight, the whole country will see it. Tomorrow, it'll be discussed in the prosecution office. <laughs> what do you want? I don't need anything from you. I'll only speak to Violetta. You're going to regret it when it goes public. I'm not the one who started it. For a long time, we've been competitors. But then, Aristov always did it in a fair and clean way. So I just did the same thing. Now I get it. 
You broke into my warehouse and then you're here blackmailing me. You better learn to behave yourself, young man. Managing a company requires responsibility for business people and business partners and not plotting dirty schemes for money. Haristov knows this very well. And Violetta does too. So I will not be talking to you anymore. Just like that, you've crossed the line. But you don't even want to talk to me, are you kidding me? Novomed belongs to Violetta. You're just a nobody. But... But... I'm the new CEO of this company. I don't care, I will only speak to Violetta. But how will you do that? How can she talk to you now that she's sick? Look, Violetta is just sick and not dead. You can call her. You have eight hours until the video goes public. <laughs> Sorry, I don't understand. Screw you to death, Viatis love. All right, wait. You won. I'll let you speak with her. Yes, you heard it right, Simeon. But on one condition. Please, I'm begging you. Do not let this video go public yet. She's still sick and it might even get worse because of this. You only have exactly eight hours, Vyacheslav. Vyacheslav. <laughs> Will he release it to the public? What's your next move? Me? I'm planning to show that bastard how to really run. A business. So, Anna, what did you find out? Okay. Here's the spectrogram of the samples you gave me. Mm hmm. Barbiturates, benzodiazepine, and drapiridol. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to explain this? No need. How about the dosage? That's the problem because it's too much. If things keep going like this, her brain will stop functioning probably within a week. So what can you suggest? The thing is, these drugs can cause addiction. If you remove these drugs from her right away, it can. Actually, I've already tried it, but it didn't work. Look, Pavel, I'll be giving you this chart as your guide for switching her medicines. The transition should be gradual. You'll need at least three days to completely do that. All right. Thank you. Wait, you're not a secret agent. How are you going to do it? I think you should call the police. Do you see anything wrong or illegal here? The anesthesiologist can make such a scheme based on your experience. It's a dosage. And what dosage? Write it off as a mistake. Do you think her husband knows? Okay, it seems you don't trust him. Do you trust Nikolai? He's the head doctor, he can help you. Don't go by yourself. Don't make things worse. You already have a lot on your plate. Yes, yes. Of course I will. Thank you. Thanks again. Violetta, tell me, are you in good terms with your family? Do you trust them? Yes, yes, yes! You see, I'm running! I see. So... You should keep fighting. Do you hear me, Violetta? I do!
Nikolai, how have you been? I'm good. Have a seat. By the way, how was your wife? Things are not going so well with her. That's the reason why I called you. Well, how can I help you? As long as Violetta's in the hospital, I'll be in charge of the company. But what if her condition gets worse? What do you think will happen to... Let's not talk about a worst-case scenario. If she remains in a coma for a long time, then the company will be managed by the owners, which are the shareholders. And I believe our prenuptial agreement states that if one of us... You won't be getting anything from it. That's why I called you. We need to find a loophole. You're right about this. The shareholders will get involved because she's sick. However, in case Miss Violetta doesn't recover, Knock and wound. her shares will be allocated based on her last will, not in the terms of her marriage contract. <laughs> what will? She's only 28. Where did it come from? It was written right after your wedding. I'm sorry, it's confidential. Please understand. Come on, cut the crap. Just tell me about it. This so-called crap is called the law, okay? If I were breached, it, I might end up losing my job. I really need to know this. Please tell me. Once she became the majority shareholder and the general director, Miss Violetta put a will in the company's register about what would happen to all of her shares and assets in case she dies. This is a smart way to handle the business asset her father built. And in the event of her passing, this is what she has written. All of her shares in Novomed will be given to you. So when are we going to release it? Okay, listen. Be ready to upload the video to all news channels after I call you later. Got it? victories and success. <laughs> Here you go, my father-in-law. Let's celebrate the victory tonight, my dearest Yuri Aristov. Cheers to victory! <laughs> so? So? We got his security. Hmm? But that bastard got away. And also, Paknowski. <clears throat> Dr. Andreev, I'm sorry for calling it's you. It's okay. Is it about my patient? It's about the person who was admitted here. Take a look at this. City scan and not MRI? Because it's a bullet. And the position is kind of weird. Yeah, right into the subarachnoid cistern. We won't have any visual guidance because our system is only designed for MRI. But let me remind you, I cannot do that. You called me? Just for this nonsense? Dr. Andreev, you're the only one who can perform this surgery exclusively from memory. No one else. I'm asking you like my teacher. Don't leave me, I can't do it. I figured I'd ask you now, rather than spend sleepless nights in regret later on. Artyom, you can do it. If you'll be next to me, then I think that we can do it. You're leaving me with no choice. Pavel!
Violetta, your patient, can't survive on her own. You want to overcome this? All you have to do is speak up. Tell all your colleagues you're struggling, so they can help you. This guy asked for your help. Do you think you're special? Don't be a hypocrite. Dr. Andreev? Are you okay? Oh yes, I'm fine. I'll be your hands now. It's going to be okay. Spatula. Coagulator. Good luck to us. Mm hmm And to our patient. Today and forever. I'm going to start now. Yes. Oh, please, come in. Uh, Mr. Kennedy? I guess you're here because of the patient with the bullet on his head, right? He's having surgery right now. Well, no more than 30 minutes. It's a good thing that the bullet missed his vitals. He's really a lucky man. Okay, if you got any information, please call us. Of course I will. And please, sign this form. <sighs> Dugnowski, uh, is this the one I know? Do you know him? Mm, just his last name. He is quite a well-known businessman in the medical field. As soon as he comes to his senses, I'll call you right away, okay? Thanks, we'll wait for the call. The yeah, just love. I sense something weird, and I want to talk to you about it. Clamp. Jenna. You can't get any wider. Check the contusion area. Oh, I really can't do it. You can. This will only give a millimeter. It's hard. I can't penetrate. The bullet track is so narrow. It's a 50-50 chance. It could also lead to primary necrosis. Jenna. Jenna, Clamp, Artyom. Artyom, look at me. More immediately along the wing, along the slope. Yes, that's right. thought only in movies could people survive headshots. Only 5% succeed. According to NATO, most bullets stay in the head. Well, those are NATO. It's different from the Ministry of Health. How, how are they doing? They found their way to the bullet, and now they're extracting it. Who is the one assisting Artyom? He asked Dr. Andreev. To be his assistant? Yeah. <sighs> the 
This is my first. There's your first time, so congratulations. Yes. Artyom did an excellent job. There's no bleeding, which is good. Tell me, why didn't you do the surgery? Artyom did well. Dr. Andreev, I want to know. Please be honest with me. Why didn't you do it? All right, here's the thing. I don't have the ability. Stop lying. Why didn't you take back your resignation today and keep performing surgeries? But why? Excuse me? <sighs> Three hours ago, I was standing in front of this mirror and talking to myself. <sighs> it's okay. It happens, and it's pretty normal. No, for me, it's not. It's not actually myself. It's Sergei. To Sergei Strelnikov? He was standing right there. I don't know why him. It's always him. Why not Marina? Why not my son? Why him? Now I get it. It's always been him. I understand. I never said it before to anyone or to you, not even to Irina. When my wife, Marina's mom, died, I was hoping that being busy at work will help. So what do you think I did? I just spent my whole life working just to forget it. And a week later, I got suspended. I had three failed surgeries at that time. They're always telling me to have a break, to pause and breathe, and then come back. I'm telling you the same thing. Take a break and come back. We'll wait for you, Dr. Andreev. We always will. I just want you to know that. Why is he here? It's an order from Mr. Evgeny. Maybe he's a VIP. You're in the hospital, and your surgery went well. How are you feeling now? I'm okay. How many fingers? Two. Doc, I think that I'm thirsty. Okay, I'll tell the nurse. Wait, Doc. What's all this? That's infusion pump for your medicine. Which hospital am I Don't in? worry, you're in a neurosurgery center. 
This is all Novo, man. Please don't tell anyone that I'm here. Okay, okay, I won't. Calm down. You're not okay yet, sir. Please help me get out of here. I'll be killed if I stay here. Help me. I'll pay you a lot. Please calm down. No one will kill Believe you here. Believe me, he's going to kill me, so I am begging you. Help me Who get out Who wants to of kill here. you? It's Korjin. Please get me out of here. I promise I'll pay you. Dr. Andrea, is everything all right? Yes, yes. It's PTSD. Well, it happens. Dr. Andrea, good afternoon. Nice to meet you. Dr. Andreev, I need your report on the surgery you did so I can give it to the police. Is it urgent? Yes, it is. The morgue. After you? What a coincidence. You know what? That guy is actually Vyacheslav's old friend, so when I found this out, I immediately transferred him to our reward. They don't look like friends to me. <laughs> are you kidding me? Come on, what do you know about friendship? You're a loner, Andreev. Semyon Bakovsky. You made us worry. What happened to you? We're worried about your health. How are you feeling? You bastard. Don't try to get up. Just calm down, relax. All you have to do is to listen to me, okay? Get me out of here, you bastard. Don't worry. I'll go, but you need to sign here first. <clears throat> Be quiet. Just relax, don't strain yourself. Here. Here. Stay here. After all, this is the best hospital. With great doctors, right? Also, the newer surgeons here are really amazing. Mm. They can take off your scalp, open your head, and connect several electrodes to your brain in such a way that you won't feel anything at all, not a thing. But you can still move and use your hands to sign any kind of documents like this. You crazy bastard. <laughs> this is really cool, isn't it? I came here with a paper, and here you are with your head split open. You're insane. I can press the electrode and your hand will sign whenever I want. Oh, Vladimir. Hi, Diana. I couldn't get through to you, so I decided to come here. I guess you already know. Jeez, my poor little girl is badly ill. Yeah, she's a wonderful and bright girl. Right. Allow me. Okay, thanks. I'm so ashamed, Vladimir. You already know that Yuri didn't leave us anything, not even this house. He left it all to Violetta. Okay, thank you. That's why I hate Violetta so much, but I'm not sure if she sensed it. Well, I'm sure you perfectly understand why he did that. Then suddenly this happened to her. I'm really scared right now. I feel like something bad could happen any time. Like what? Do you want more drink? No thanks, I'm good. Look, Yuri died. Unexpectedly. And now Violetta. So are you trying to tell me that? There might be a foul play going on here? No. It's not like that. Of course not. Where did it happen? All right, follow me. Come in. Over there, that's the window. Was it open? No, it was closed. Then the glass shattered. Had they been replaced? Yeah, just love replaced it immediately to oh. clean this place up. Any more evidence? Was he at home then? Vladimir, how do I know if he's home or not? Mm. 
while he was home. Okay. He heard the glass break, then he saw Violetta and called the ambulance. I'm sure you know that the, um, neighbors called the ambulance. Yeah, I know. It is in the police report. But why didn't he call? I was in the room at that time and also, I didn't hear anything. I don't think he heard anything either. Hmm. So she crawled over to her neighbors. Maybe she didn't lose consciousness right away. I think when she fell, she tried to crawl to someone for help. Or crawling from someone. I have to go. I'll call you then. Violetta, I'm giving you a new medicine. This new medicine will gradually get into your system, which is what keeps you in this current state. No, 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 wait, hold on, please! What are you doing? Hey, answer me! This will only make you drowsy. No, no, not now, please. A ask me more questions. Ask me about my husband. Ask me if he saw me fall. Ask me if, if he beats me. You can also ask me about the equipment, anything you want. I think you're going to lose your consciousness for a while. No, no, please don't. Please, I beg you, don't do it. Please talk to me. I'll answer whatever questions you'll throw at me. Just don't make me fall asleep. Just wait for a few days. I'll find a way to get you out. Hang in there. Are you still there? <sighs> Violetta, can you still hear me? Please, come back. I need your answer. Is your husband capable of killing someone? Where's the patient in room 12? Uh, Pavnovsky? He died an hour ago. Who tried to revive him? Supposedly the second team, but they didn't get to him. Mr. Kennedy just reported he's dead. Mr. Kennedy? What did the pathologist say? The problem is our elevator broke down, so his body is still down there. He said that he won't make it until morning. Who? The VIP patient, Baknowski. Oh, well, patients die. It happens sometimes. Yeah? Especially if you put a shunt between the corroded artery and the subclavian vein so that blood couldn't enter the brain. It's not a death. It's clearly murder. Stop it. Enough. I'm sick of this. You hear me? I said enough. We all sympathize with your situation, but you're crossing the line based on what you did. How long has he been brain dead? Five minutes? Or maybe ten? I'm going to the police. Okay then, go ahead! Are you even aware that he had carotid artery stenosis? Did you even perform an angiogram on him? 
You were too scared to operate yourself. So first you decided to get Artyom to do it for you, and now you're blaming me for this? If you can't be a doctor, then quit your job. And I won't wait for another two weeks. I want you to pack your things and get out of this hospital in an hour. You got that? That's it. Get angry. Go, boy. It's me again. This is infuriating. Get away from me. You want to hear a riddle? It's a good one. An ambulance brings two people in. I don't want to listen to you! It's a really good one. It's not logical. It'll test your sanity. Let's start. Two patients are brought in. The other one is dead. The other one is alive. Which one will you save? <laughs> Dr. Semyonov. Hello, Dr. Andrea. We need to talk. It's urgent. Ah, Dr. Samuel, we were looking for you. Can we talk to you for a minute? I'm so sorry. Yes? Uh, here he is. Uh, Hello, Mr. Nikolai. Hello there, yes. I have some questions for you. Hope you can help me. Sure, no problem. You're the boss. <laughs> we appreciate you for helping, Mr. Vyacheslav. We'll go ahead now. So then, let's go. How can I help you? Oh, no. It's nothing. You want to say bye? I remember you told me... to just breathe. Dr. Andreev, no matter how bad it is, you know time can heal you. Time can heal me? It wipes out everything. Like an eraser. Are you sure that her brain has stopped functioning? Yes. Her conscience just faded. <laughs> no. Let's do what I told you. All right, then let's get her home so she can... I don't want her at home. She'll just stay here. This is getting too far. Yesterday was Paknovsky and now her... So what? You're a doctor, aren't you? Go figure it out. Goodbye, honey. Farewell. You know, you're a piece of... What? I do understand, but... No buts. Just do it.
We just want to keep this private. Just within the family. <sighs> I understand that. This is how Dad died. I don't think I can handle another funeral. Yes, of course. Certainly you have the right to do as you see fit. Maybe cremation after all. Have you said your farewells? You can close it. Doctor, aren't you? Go figure it out. God has nothing to do with it. We're all going to die. People just come and go. And nobody gives a damn about it. <sighs> right. We're ready. Breathing pulse. The equipment will stop recording your pulse. In this way, everyone will assume you're dead. The ice will lower your body temperature. It's risky, but there's no other way. Thank you for your help. Pavel, you did the impossible to save my mom's life. Who would I be if I refused you? Okay, go now. If they ask, act like you don't know me. Hello? Pavel? Sorry, I didn't want you to get involved in here, but I need your help. Wait, what's wrong? My patient needs a separate ward. Okay, I'll try to find one. Please don't hang up. All right, I won't. Uh, uh, one more thing, don't register her name. You're the head doctor. We'll be there soon, thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 